ever wished your emails could manage themselves what if an ai could read your inbox understand what's important check your schedule and even notify you instantly when it matters in this video we are going to build something magical a real world ai agent that reads your gmail detects meeting requests check your availability on google calendar and sends you a whatsapp alert automatically no more missed invites no more checking your calendar 10 times a day just a smart automated assistant that thinks so grab your coffee let's build your very own ai agent Let's explore what is an AI agent, difference between automation versus AI agent, why AI agents are powerful, and implementation and demo. AI agents are an intelligent program that don't just follow instruction; they pursue reason and act. They can make decisions, use tools, and complete tasks often without any human intervention. They act like a digital teammates. In this video, you will see a real-world AI agent in action. It reads your incoming email, detects if something asking for a meeting, check your Google Calendar for availability, and if you are free, it will input in the WhatsApp. But it doesn't stop there. AI agents can scale. They can talk to API, summarize documents, auto reply to messages, even coordinate with other agents. We are not just writing code anymore. We are designing autonomous system that works for us. So what's the difference between automation and AI agents? Automation is a rule based. You need to tell what to do and it does exactly that. But in AI agent is very smarter. It doesn't just follow the rule. It understands the context, make decision and choose the right tool for the job. Imagine an automation just reads your calendar, but AI agent reads your email and understand there is a meeting request. The biggest difference is automation executes, AI agent thinks. Why AI agents are so powerful? because they work autonomously and they make their own decision they use tools dynamically and they learn and adapt to the new things in this demo i have created three different agents using the python and the small agent that is a lightweight agent framework so the first agent is going to check for the unread gmail messages and detect if there is a meeting request then it will pass it to the calendar agent to check for the availability In case of availability is there then just we need to notify using the notifier agent in the WhatsApp message. The goal of agent 1 is scan unread email and detect meeting related messages. And the goal of agent 2 is just using the calendar API it scan the calendar and check for the availability. We let's see how to enable this. In three steps we are going to create agent 1 and agent 2. Connect to Gmail API and calendar API, parse email content, detect meeting request. go to google console and create a new project give any name whatever you like and click on create button wait for the project to be created once it create go and set to the project and search for gmail api enable that api in the project So once it is enabled we need to set the credentials and all the details. Click on the credentials and configure the consent form. Here we need to give our app information and the user information and the email accounts. Select as an external user. Give contact information as your Gmail account. So once it done go to that OAuth select as a desktop application. and save this file in your local as a credential.json keep this in your project folder and our code refers to the credential.json and in what access we need to set the scope as a read only scope just enable it so once it done we need to set the test user here the test user is our gmail account So once it done the same thing we need to follow for enabling the calendar api So enable the calendar api for our project and the rest of the steps are going to be the same The credential.json is also be going to be the same because both gmail api and the calendar api are in our same account Next let's create the agent 3 The goal of agent 3 is when calendar agent confirms meeting availability then send notification in WhatsApp. We are going to use Twilio app to connect to the WhatsApp. Create account in Twilio. Then just log in into that one. Create the WhatsApp sandbox and copy the WhatsApp code. Then open your WhatsApp and just paste that code. That's it. Connect to that sandbox. So once it done copy the account credential from the Twilio and paste it in our Python code. 
I have created total 4 python scripts for this demo. Just download it from this YouTube description. And just replace the whatsapp tool.py with your Twilio credentials and download the credential.json and just run the runagent.py. It will orchestrate to email agent, calendar agent and notify agent. That's it. Let's see how it is going to work. Let me show you a live example. I just sent myself an email. Hey, can we meet tomorrow at 2 pm for 30 minutes? Now when I run the agent, it process the email, check my calendar and boom, I get a WhatsApp alert with the meeting summary. So here is the message I received. So it check the calendar and return it as true. That is an availability for me. Instead of just chatting with the AA, we are now automating task with the AA. As of now, we have achieved reading an email, checking the calendar availability and sending a WhatsApp notification. In the future video, I will show you how to integrate LLM like Mistral or GPT to write replace to your tone. If you found this cool, leave a like, subscribe and comment what kind of agent you would like to build next. Until then, thank you, bye bye, see you in the next video.